hell? World War II is commonly regarded as the final good war, particularly in the United States of America. This phrase acquired acceptance when wars such as Vietnam and Korea became increasingly unpopular with the American people. Join us as we look at the most incredible finds of the Second World War. American commanders ordered that military bases should be built across Greenland. Now only one remains and the rest, like this one, is simply abandoned. 20. Wehrmacht Tractor The Wehrmacht Tractor was a German World War II half-track vehicle that served in a variety of duties between 1943 and 1945. Unarmored variants served as supply vehicles and artillery tractors. Armored variants had anti-aircraft weapons or a 10-barrel rocket launcher. Fewer than a thousand were built before the war ended, although an improved model was produced afterward at the Tatra Company in Czechoslovakia. 19. The Ghost Army Its artillery couldn't fire, its tanks couldn't move, and its soldiers were better at using paintbrushes than guns. Nonetheless, a top-secret unit of 1,100 American artists, designers, and sound engineers known colloquially as the Ghost Army helped win World War II by staging elaborate ruses that misled Nazi Germany's forces about the location and size of Allied forces. Members of the 23rd Headquarters Special Troops and 33rd Signal Company Special saved the lives of thousands of American servicemen and were awarded one of the country's highest civilian honors. The Ghost Army, which used inflatable decoys, fake radio chatter, and loudspeakers that blared sound effects, could simulate a force 30 times its size while operating as close as a quarter mile from the front lines. Rarely, if ever, has a small group of men had such a large impact on the outcome of a major military campaign. Freddie Fox, a Ghost Army member, described his organization as a traveling roadshow that went up and down the front lines impersonating the real fighting outfits. From D-Day to the Battle of the Bulge, the Ghost Army carried out more than 20 missions across Europe in 1944 and 1945. Inspired by the success of British subterfuge in North Africa earlier in the war, the United States Army established the Ghost Army in January 1944 as a self-contained unit dedicated to visual, acoustic, and radio deception in time for D-Day. Artists, ad men, radio broadcasters, sound experts, actors, architects, and set designers were among those handpicked for the Ghost Army, which reportedly had one of the Army's highest collective IQs with a 119 average. The Ghost Army operated at night, as its name suggests. Camouflage experts used gasoline-powered air compressors to inflate rubber tanks, jeeps, trucks, artillery, and aircraft, which were then painted with realistic details to fool Nazi aerial reconnaissance. To add authenticity to their fake reports, radio specialists sent misleading communications and even mimicked operators' distinct styles. Sound engineers blasted pre-recorded sounds of military drills and movements on massive speakers that could be heard 15 miles away in some cases. Performance and art are more than just pastimes. They are essential components of human endeavor. The Ghost Army accomplished this by utilizing creativity and illusion to save lives. In our thumbnail, we can see the effect war has on soldiers. I mean, some of these guys are smiling in their sleep, but I don't think any of them will ever wake up. 18. A lost attack plane The wreckage of a Soviet plane that vanished after taking off for bombardment against the Nazis during World War II was recovered from the Black Sea 75 years later. During World War II, the PE-2 Soviet Union-made fighter plane that took off from southern Russia to bomb Nazi Germany vanished and was never discovered again. In 2019, an aircraft wreck was discovered during seabed studies off Russia's Black Sea coast. Following this, the Russian Navy's research vessel Ipron commenced work on debris cleanup at the disaster site. On February 4th, the Soviet Union's PE-2 type aircraft was recovered from the seabed 80 kilometers off the Krasnodar coast. While the Red Star emblem on the aircraft's body remains intact, the plane's appearance 75 years later sparked enormous enthusiasm in Russia. Following expert investigation, the aircraft was displayed in a Russian war museum. 17. Carrier USS Independence Operation Magic Carpet saw Independence bring veterans home from the Pacific battlefield at the close of the war. She won eight battle honors for her service in the war and was credited with sinking the Japanese battleship Musashi at the Battle of the Philippines. Before being decommissioned in August 1946, Independence served as a target vessel for the Bikini atomic bomb testing in Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. On July 1st and 25th, 1946, Independence was positioned within a half mile from ground zero. She received significant damage from shockwaves, heat, and radiation, but did not sink. 
The U.S. Navy pulled the damaged ship to San Francisco for cleaning. The USS Independence was deliberately sunk off the coast of San Francisco in 1951. Nobody had seen the vessel since, that is, until 2016, when scientists from Nautilus Live employed remotely controlled vehicles to investigate what remained of the vessel. Despite being 2,600 feet underwater, for 73 years, the ship remains amazingly undamaged. There was at least one plane and anti-aircraft weapons on deck. 16. A Nazi Eagle Uruguay plans to melt down a bronze eagle discovered on a sunken German destroyer off its coast 13 years ago and recast as a peace dove. The 6.5-foot-tall bird, which held a Nazi swastika in its talons, graced the stern of the Admiral Graf Spee a battleship involved in one of World War II's earliest naval confrontations. Hans Langsdorff, the Graf Spee's captain, sank the battleship, one of the Third Reich's largest, on December 17, 1939, after the Battle of the River Plate. The artwork was discovered in 2006, after a 10-year search in the River Plate off Montevideo. In 2019, a court ordered that the sculpture be sold, with half of the revenue going to the government and half going to the salvage team. In 2004, the salvagers reached a deal with the Uruguayan Navy that required a 50-50 split. The treasure hunters later launched a lawsuit, alleging that the government breached the agreement. Finally, Uruguay's Supreme Court determined that the eagle was state property, with Pablo Achigari being chosen to create the peace dove. 15. Abandoned Toxic Base in Greenland The Inuits in the area refer to them as American flowers, but they are actually ancient, rusty, leaking gasoline containers spread throughout the otherwise pristine Greenland landscape on what was once an Air Force post during World War II. Photographer Ken Bauer's project, American Flowers, focuses on the base, which includes leaking and rusty barrels, decaying cars, and collapsing asbestos-laden buildings. It is a documentary photography project that aims to shed light on the destruction left behind and convince the U.S. government to return and clean up the base, which was abandoned in 1947. At the height of the Cold War, the United States had approximately 50 military bases in Greenland. Many were left to deteriorate and rust, damaging the delicate ecosystem. One, called Camp Century, was even erected beneath the ice before being abandoned. However, when the ice melts, there are concerns that poisons and radioactive coolants, which were intended to remain buried indefinitely, will be revealed. 14. The Enigma Machine The Enigma Machine was a famous encryption machine used by the Germans to transmit coded messages during World War II. An Enigma Machine can encode a message in billions of different ways, making it extremely difficult for other nations to crack German codes during the war. For a time, the code appeared unbreakable. Alan Turing and other researchers exploited a few flaws in the Enigma code implementation and gained access to German codebooks, allowing them to design the bomb machine, which assisted in cracking the most difficult versions of Enigma. Some historians believe that cracking Enigma was the Allied power's most important victory during World War II. The Allies were able to prevent many attacks by using information decoded from the Germans. To avoid Nazi suspicion that they had eavesdropped on German communications, the Allies had to allow some attacks to take place, despite knowing how to stop them. 13. Yamashita's Gold During World War II, Tomoyuki Yamashita was the army commander of the 25th Army, which captured Malaya and Singapore. The capture was the East's most decisive victory over the West. Yamashita's gold, also known as the Yamashita treasure, is the name given to the alleged war loot stolen by Imperial Japanese forces in Southeast Asia during World War II and allegedly hidden in caves, tunnels, or underground complexes in various cities in the Philippines. According to legend, General Tomoyuki Yamashita and his forces buried tons of gold and other stolen treasures in underground caves and tunnels in the country's north, intending to retrieve it all after the war. After being soundly defeated in both the late and Luzon campaigns, he held out until the general surrender was announced from Tokyo in August 1945. Yamashita was tried for war crimes, and despite his denials that he was aware of atrocities committed under his command, he was found guilty and eventually hanged. Though there are accounts that claim the treasure is still hidden in the Philippines and has enticed treasure hunters from all over the world for over 50 years, most experts dismiss its existence. 12. Sunken Battleship The renowned Japanese battleship Musashi, which sank during World War II, was unearthed off the coast of the Philippines more than 70 years later. Paul Allen, the billionaire co-founder of Microsoft, had been conducting an expedition aboard his high-tech 414-foot-long yacht to find the Musashi, one of the largest battleships ever built. He finally found the shipwreck in the Sibuyan Sea. Mr. Allen had been looking for the Musashi for over eight years, and its recovery will not only serve to fill in the story of World War II's Pacific Theater, but will also provide closure to the families of those who died. The Musashi and her sister ship, the Yamato, 
were considered the heaviest and most powerful battleships ever built, yet neither survived World War II. On October 24, 1944, during the Battle of Leyte Gulf, American forces sank the 862-foot-long, 73,000-ton Musashi, killing almost 1,000 of the ship's 2,399 crew members. The ship's final resting site remained unknown for decades, despite eyewitness tales of the sinking. Allen's team hasn't divulged much about where and how they discovered the Musashi, but a news release states that they used historical documents from four countries, topographical data, and technology aboard their boat to locate the sunken ship. 11. Ancient Roman Bunker The Alderney Nunnery is supposed to be the location of one of the best-preserved Roman forts in the British Isles. It was utilized by the German soldiers during their control of the Channel Islands. The dig revealed how they placed the fortress exactly inside the 10-foot-thick walls. Alderney has been inhabited since at least the Neolithic period, with a burial chamber on the island going back to 4,000 BCE. The Roman Tower at the Nunnery is the island's first example of a military building, and it was built to guard a nearby Roman colony. During World War II, the Germans occupied Alderney and converted the Roman fort into Resistance Point Piratenschloss. Alderney was the only British territory seized by Nazis and held under their control from 1940 to 1945. German soldiers created two forced labor camps and two concentration camps after most of the islanders had already been evacuated. They had attracted 6,000 people to the little island by 1942. After Adolf Hitler planned to secure the Channel Islands and erect an impregnable fortress, imprisoned laborers were employed to construct anti-tank bunkers, gun emplacements, air raid shelters, tunnels, and concrete barricade. 10. Carrier Pigeon in Chimney He had survived the treacherous flight back from Nazi-occupied territory, hundreds of miles distant. Exhausted, the British spy pigeon fluttered down on a chimney in Surrey to rest. Unfortunately, he fell from his perch. Perhaps overpowered by fumes from the fire below, he died, leaving a key-coded message in a tiny capsule tied to his calf. His remains remained unnoticed in the chimney for approximately 70 years when the new owner chose to restore the fireplace. The chimney was full of twigs and debris until the owner discovered the remains of the dead pigeon. He believed it was a racing bird until he noticed the red capsule. He unscrewed the capsule and discovered a handwritten message inside on a cigarette paper thin piece of paper. It was submitted to code breakers at Bletchley Park in Buckinghamshire, whose work to crack the Nazi Enigma code cut the war short by years. Approximately 250,000 pigeons were deployed during World War II. They could fly at high speeds, carrying communications from behind enemy lines, and, like a forerunner of the black box, accompanying RAF bomber crews in the event of a disaster. Experts believe the red capsule discovered was the type employed by the Special Operations Executive. Their human operatives carried out sabotage missions, such as blowing up railroads, bridges, and factories in German-occupied territories. 9. Douglas SBD Dauntless Bomber A dive bomber from World War II is undergoing restoration in Pensacola. The plane crashed 80 years ago, sinking 100 feet to the bottom of Lake Michigan. The Douglas SBD-5 Dauntless will now be fully restored at the National Naval Aviation Museum at Pensacola Naval Air Station. The restoration is being sponsored by the National World War II Museum in New Orleans, with funding provided by an unknown donor. This is the third Dauntless dive bomber that the museum has recovered from Lake Michigan for restoration. Officials expect the restoration to take several years. Zebra mussels and algae adhere to almost every surface of the aircraft, and the wings and propeller are twisted from the impact. The Douglas SBD Dauntless was strong enough to allow pilots to dive at nearly vertical angles of 80 degrees. The U.S. Navy's principal dive bomber at the start of the war, the aircraft established its reputation and contributed to victory at the 1942 Battle of Midway, sinking four Japanese ships. 8. A Panther Tank Found in a Basement Garage Lawyers in Germany are debating how to deal with a pensioner who kept a World War II tank, anti-aircraft gun, and torpedo in his cellar. The objects were removed from his home in the northern town of Heikendorf in 2015 with the assistance of the Army. Prosecutors and defense lawyers are currently negotiating potential penalties, which include a suspended sentence and a fine of up to 500,000 euros. The 84-year-old defendant must also find new homes for the monumental items. According to his lawyer, a U.S. museum is interested in buying the Panther tank. Many historians believe it was the most efficient vehicle deployed by Germany during World War II. According to local media, the lawyer also stated that other German collectors approached the defendant about additional goods such as assault guns and pistols. In
In July 2015, it took approximately 20 soldiers over nine hours to retrieve the Panther tank, which was missing its tracks, from the residential property and slide it onto a low loader for transport. Local authorities were apparently informed about the seller's contents by colleagues in Berlin, who had previously searched the residence for stolen Nazi art. 7. The Nazi Gold Train During the war, the Nazis pillaged occupied territories, pillaging palaces, art galleries, and museums, as well as depriving Jews of their property and possessions. As a result, the regime amassed enormous wealth. Nazi treasures were hidden all over Europe. Following the defeat of the Nazis, Allied forces discovered troves of valuable items ranging from solid gold bars to classical art sculptures. U.S. forces discovered loot caches in the wild, in the homes of Nazi party officials, and on trains. Thousands of boxes of gold and silver objects, gems, cash, china, rugs, and art stolen from Hungarian Jews were discovered by American soldiers in Austria in 1944. When word of a possible Nazi treasure spread, a picturesque Polish city called Wabrzyk rose to prominence. According to legend, a group of German workers saw treasure being carried into tunnels within the nearby Owl Mountains. Legend has it that the train carried 300 tons of gold, silver, jewels, art, and other valuables. Some believe that pieces from the Amber Room were also on this train. According to legend, as the Red Army advanced, the Nazis loaded an armored train with treasure before it vanished into one of the tunnels beneath Chia's castle in northern Wabrzyk. There were several investigations into the tunnels after 1945, including one by the Polish army, but there was no sign of a Nazi train brimming with gold. 6. The Amber Room While many Americans associate amber with the casing for dinosaur DNA in the 1993 film Jurassic Park, the stone has captivated Europeans, particularly Russians, for centuries due to the golden, jewel-encrusted amber room, which was made of several tons of the gemstone. The room was a gift to Peter the Great in 1716 to celebrate peace between Russia and Prussia, but its fate was anything but peaceful. Nazis looted it during World War II, and the amber panels, which had been packed away in crates, vanished in the final month of the war. A replica was finished in 2003, but the original, dubbed the Eighth Wonder of the World, has been missing for decades. Adolf Hitler launched Operation Barbarossa on June 22, 1941, launching three million German soldiers into the Soviet Union. Tens of thousands of art treasures were looted during the invasion, including the illustrious Amber Room, which the Nazis believed was made by Germans and was almost certainly made for Germans. 5. The U-Boat Wrecks During World War II, the German Navy was a formidable foe. German submarines, known as U-Boats, were sent to destroy merchant ships carrying supplies to Allied forces to stymie their war efforts. The U-Boats would search the seas for victims, aided by intelligence reports on the location, destination, and speed of merchant vessels. They were sometimes organized into wolf packs and hunted in groups in North Atlantic waters. Other times, in geographically dispersed regions where wolf packs were impractical, a U-boat would hunt alone. When a U-boat spotted a target, it was not uncommon for the sub to track enemy vessels for days as reinforcements were called in for a large, coordinated attack. Using deck guns and torpedoes, the attack could take place on the surface or underwater, depending on the circumstances. If the U-boat was on the surface, the crew could visually assess the damage they had caused before diving back underwater to avoid a counterattack. Brief reports sent from the U-boats to their headquarters on land detailed their successes, which were measured in enemy tonnage sent to the bottom of the ocean. On August 24, 2016, the U-576 wreckage was seen for the first time in more than 72 years. Members of the battle in the Atlantic expedition is investigating the wreckage to determine how much damage the ship sustained before sinking. Did the U-576 flood and the crew drown, or did they suffocate while trapped inside the submarine? Are any of the hatches open, indicating that the crew attempted to flee as their boat sank? These and other questions about the U-boat's final moments before it became a dark tomb remain unanswered. 4. Dead Sea Scrolls The Dead Sea Scrolls have captured the imagination and interest of scholars and the public since their discovery in 1947. The Dead Sea Scrolls are a collection of thousands of written fragments discovered near the Dead Sea. They are the remains of larger manuscripts that have been damaged by natural causes or by human intervention, with the vast majority containing only small scraps of text. However, a few well-preserved, nearly intact manuscripts have survived with fewer than a dozen from the Qumran caves. Researchers have assembled a collection of 981 different manuscripts 
discovered in 11 caves between 1946, 47, and 1956. The 11 Qumran caves are in the eastern Judean desert, in the West Bank, near the Hellenistic period Jewish settlement of Kerbet Qumran. Archaeologists have long associated the scrolls with the ancient Jewish sect known as the Essenes, though some recent interpretations have challenged this association, claiming that the scrolls were written by priests in Jerusalem, Zadokites, or other unknown Jewish groups. 3. Silver Treasure Shipwreck Over a thousand bars of silver were recovered from a shipwreck three miles beneath the Atlantic, off the coast of Ireland. The treasure is the heaviest and deepest collection of precious metals ever recovered from a shipwreck. The total bounty was 1,203 silver bars, or around 1.4 million troy ounces of silver. The 48-ton cargo was aboard the SS Gersa, a 412-foot steel-hulled British cargo ship that sank in February 1941. During World War II, a German U-boat sunk the commercial ship as it was cruising off the coast of Galway, Ireland. It was employed by the government as part of their war risk insurance policy. The government made an insurance payment of £325,000, the cargo's value in 1941, to its owners. The government awarded Odyssey the contract to locate the ship several years ago and will collect 20% of the hull's value. When the ship was fired, on, it was carrying 83 crew members and two gunners. The British and Indian sailors abandoned ship while being shot at by the Germans, but just one person survived, two, Mega Submarine. A World War II-era Japanese submarine that was captured and deliberately destroyed by U.S. forces was discovered in its watery grave. The enormous submarine, lost underwater since 1946, was discovered off the coast of the Hawaiian island of Oahu. Researchers discovered the lost I-400 submarine near Oahu's southwest coast, more than 2,300 feet below sea level. The I-400 was one of the Imperial Japanese Navy's Sentoku-class submarines, the largest submarines ever built prior to the advent of nuclear-powered submarines. These huge ships were longer than a football field and served as submarine aircraft carriers. The submarines could carry up to three floatplane bombers below, but they were meant to rise fast to the surface, launch the aircraft, and then dive back down before adversaries could discover them. 1. German SDKFZ-251 The Hanamag firm designed the SDKFZ-251 half-track, a German armored personnel carrier used during World War II. It was most likely the best half-track vehicle of World War II due to its superior design and maneuverability. On July 26, 1996, one of these half-tracks was discovered on the Pilika River near Brzustauka. It was found damaged, but with all its equipment. It was apparently used by the headquarters of the 19th Panzer Division. It burst through the ice while crossing the river and sank on January 17, 1945, while German troops were retreating. It is now operational and wears camouflage, markings, and her former name, Rosie, as used during World War II. World War II caused millions and millions of casualties, but watching these videos was still fascinating. My favorite, definitely the Ghost Army. They should make a movie about these people. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thank you for watching and see you next time.